Hello friends. So I'm going to go through this quite fast. I'll explain what I'm doing at the end of the video. I think that it helps to just watch me do it and then listen to the explanation at the end of the video. I'll explain as much as I can as I'm going through it though. So what we're going to do is build a um, in Node, we're going to build our own event listener module. And this works on a micro level, just like the event listener uh, module that is within Node works. So we're just building our own. So let's just get to it real quick. Let's just go function. This is a constructor function, a constructor function, emitter. And then it's going to have one property that's going to be this dot events. We're going to equal that to an empty object. So we have a constructor function that has one property called events. So on the emitter uh, prototype, we can make uh, methods. I'll make one called on. And that's going to equal a function. And it's going to take a type and a listener. Listeners in JavaScript are usually functions. So we have a type and a listener. So what we want to do is say this.events and then pass in that type as a string equals this.events events e -B -E -N -T -S, um, type or an empty array, which is really what we want. We just wanted to have an empty array. This is only checking to see if there's already a type there. Um, that's just a little trick. So this dot events type, we'll take that object and we'll push onto it the listener that we've passed in. Let's make one more. This one's going to be called emit. It's also going to be a function. And it's going to take the type. And we're going to say if this.events type. So if that if this object exists, if that array exists, then what we're going to want to do is take that object. And then we're going to want to loop through it for each. We're going to take another function that's going to take the listener. And then we're going to invoke the, lis the listener uh, functions that have been pushed on to the events type array. Then we're going to export that as emitter. So that exports the entire constructor function to our app.js. So we should be good. In our app.js, we'll just make an emitter object. And it's going to equal require Well, you don't have to put the JS right there, you can just put emitter. Then we'll make a new object from that emitter constructor function. EMTR equals emitter new emitter. Making a lot of spelling errors, it is super late right now. Um, so we have this new object from this emitter constructor function. So it has access to the prototype. And we can just do on. And then we pass in the string greet. Let's just say that's what it is. And then uh, it takes that second function as the listener function. And what is that function going to do? It's simply going to console.log. And right. 
So we'll do that again. So now we have two events that have happened. Or right, hello from app.js. Right? And then we'll just go emtr. And now since these events have happened, we have our listeners that have been pushed into an array. We're going to respond to them. And it should log them out. So if all of this was written correctly, what we should see, and then and then I'll explain everything that's going on, we should see hello from app.js, then we should see an event happened, and an event happened again. That's what we should see. So let's uh, get that out of there. Node app.js. Okay, cool. So hello from app.js, an event happened, an event happened again. So let's walk through this real quick just so you understand. First of all, we're creating a constructor function. It has one property, which is an empty object. This dot events is an empty object. So on that object, we wanted to make another property. When we have on the prototype of the emitter constructor function, we make another, we make another function called on. That takes two parameters. One is a type, one is a listener. So when a type is brought in as a string, the this.events, you add on to it the type as a property. So really, since the events is an empty object, type just becomes a property. And what we say in this line is this.events.type equals this.events.type or an empty array because we really want an empty array. So we check to see if this events.type already exists. If it doesn't, we make it an empty array. So really that's the same as saying we have an empty array right here. And since it's being passed in as a string, the type is really just going to be the name of that property. So if it's greet, it'll just be greet. If it's uh, file from internet, it's going to be that. Whatever you pass in is what it's going to be. So here it's just going to be greet because here in our app.js when we're calling it, we're calling it greet. So we have this greet property, which is an empty array. So what happens in this next line of code is that we take that greet property that's an empty array and we push onto it the listener. This listener is a function. So right here in this app, when it's called, this function that's called says console.log an event happened. So really what we're doing is pushing on a function onto this array. Each time that it's called, we push a function onto it. Then it gets called again. If you see in this app.js, it gets called again with another function, another anonymous function. So that function also gets called onto this empty array. So now that both of these functions are on this empty array, if we go to the emitter, another prototype method is the emit. That means that if something, if some functions have been pushed onto this array that haven't been executed, then we have to have a way to respond to them or execute to them. So emitter.prototype.emit is a function that takes a type and it says if this.events.type, so meaning if this array exists, then what do I want to do with it? I want to take that array, I want to loop through it, and then I want to take a function that takes a listener, which is each one of these functions within this array, and I want to invoke those listeners. So I want to invoke these functions right here. That happens right here. So these functions have been pushed into an empty array, and here is where these functions are executed with the dot emit prototype right here. Then we export that. We export the entire constructor function emitter to our app.js. Then here we require it. Then here we make a new emitter object which has access to the prototype. Then on that emitter, or the EMTR rather, object, we call the on prototypical method that we built. We pass in that greet right here, right here on this. This type is that greet. The greet becomes the property on that empty events object within the prototype of emitter. Then we pass in a function. That function is not invoked. It is only passed into that empty array. 
and when it's passed in, it just sits there. Same way here again. We make we make the greet, we push onto it, we make the property of greet. Well, the property is already made, so we push onto that array greet. We push onto it this function, which just has another event happen. So really, all of these functions are just being pushed onto this empty array, and then here is when we execute it with the emit, right here. Emit function takes a type, it checks to see if that type exists. Since it does, it goes over each element in the array, it goes over each element in the array right here. It takes the elements and put them as a variable of listener, and then it invokes those elements, and those elements get invoked right here. And then if you go back over to our terminal, that's when it gets spit out right here. So that's a lot. It is. Um, but if you understand that, you understand how event listeners work uh, in Java, in Node. And this is basically like a micro level of how the actual Node event listener module works within Node. So I hope it helps. Just work with it and, uh, yeah, get after it.